Round six, and we're in Marina Bay. It's Sebo Campo from Mil Rez and Revo. Then it's Michael Nokivov and Vashi Chantan. And about to start six from New Cable and D and Daph Sanchez. Then it's P Sierra and T Gabo. Marlis de Klerk starts 11th outside of the top 10. Then it's Marcus Nelson, Akari, and Ock Huey. Then it's Bob Desarov, Yuki Suo, Leo. I will the championship leader in David Kamna, August Regazzoni, Santino Milan, and Tommy. Five races into this multi-race season in season 16, it's Ocampo on pole from Mio Rez, all five lights go on! And we go green here in Mar Marina Bay. That's a pretty even start from the top two. Bravo looking for some space here as we barrel into turn one. Into the wall goes Sebo Carbo. He's lost his front wing. Mealworth takes the lead. Santino Milan down in last place. He's getting a five second time for the Almost running over that stricken uh, Andretti front wing. Ocampo is still actually going out there pretty quickly, but they are likely going to have to make the call to pit. If they don't get the black flag with Orange Desk, knock him off to P3. Almost if he can hold on to the position from Revo, but not quite. I mean, Revo's still ahead of Michael Nokovov. So it's Mio West from Ocampo. But Ocampo's still there. Yellow's in the second sector. And that. Oh, that must have been a massive jump into one of the many barriers around the track. And considering how early into the race this is. Oh, another yellow and VSC Santino Milan. Where is... Alright, so he's up on the wall. Oh, Tommy. That was why we had the other yellow flag. So, already very hectic opening lap. Neil Rez leads the way. The Sebo Campo predicts it to make his pit stop on this lap alongside Tommy. And considering the nature of this race... That's basically race over for these guys. VSC ending. Um, yeah, they're going to have to need to get their game on here. And Andretti, you can see him tumbling down the order. Front wing replaced. Tommy has also come in. So it's going to be 20th for Sebastian Ocampo. The season 14 champion. And he's fighting for a second championship. As he did last season. But... As it stands, he hasn't had the greatest title defense. On board of Michael Nokivov, who's actually doing a pretty good job out there in the next EV number uh, 12. Rarely ever see the number 12 run in motorsport in general. But Nokivov is making that number sing as he comes through the chicane, losing a little bit of grip. Uh, Ty Wolf bringing in the hardest. Tire compound. This uh, this race in our championship has been brought to you by the Game Gear Podcast, which will start when it's ready. So we've been told, and no sooner. There's a video, and we've linked the channel in the description. If you want motorsport podcasts, if you want Sonic the Hedgehog po podcast, that is your one-stop shop to go. Yeah. On to lap number three. Miel Rez, fastest lap. Reset by Revo there, 124.6. Might see some other drivers trying to reset the fastest lap to go even faster because of the slipstream that they're getting. But at the same time, through the turns, that slipstream becomes very unhelpful. Ocampo, fastest third sector, as he's now right on the back of Argus Dragazzoni. Could try and get himself at least points. I'm expecting points from that season. 14 champion. He's a seasoned driver. And he's he's only in his um he's in his fourth season. And he drives like he's a veteran. And Art Huey, who is a veteran of this championship, he set a very quick uh opening sector there. As Ravo still nowhere near Mule is at this point in time. Tommy fastest first sector of anyone. This chicane catches out so many drivers. The Singapore sling. Well, it's well replaced it. There goes Sebastiano Carbo. Oh, he had to get that car stopped. 
with much uh, vigor because if he didn't, he would have almost certainly been out of this race, but he's still in it. He's right on the back of David Kavanaugh. He's he's jumped, he's popped the dummy. Wow, champions maneuver, but can he make it stick? He's gonna have the outside. Rego is gonna get past the flap, and he's not. He's not quite ahead of David Kavanaugh. Not quite yet. He does have the freshest tires of anyone on the grid, but it doesn't really matter yet. It's three. He percent fast as that two servo carpo 124.0 and you can see that 76 is a man with a mission top four separated by a good gap Tommy new fastest lap he's gone two seconds quicker than Sebastian Ocampo they've both got a lot to show for after their opening lap skirmishes into barriers but now Ocampo is still on the back of Camino you can see this track prone to having clusters of drivers who aren't able to make the make any overtakes but when they do make an overtake oh boy is it beautiful Camino coming through the chicane with Ocampo still right behind him doesn't think of going for the lunch this is still the fight for 18th may I remind you all this is 18th position this is the fight for Third with Michael Nokovov and Vashi Shantan. That red helmeted number 12 car ahead of Vashi Shantan, who's doing a very good job in that Mahindra. Lap 5 of 15, one third of the way through this E3, E3 uh, meal race still leading the way. Now, the thing about meal race. He's driving for have short splitter. He is in the title fight currently. He can win this title. And a race like this, to win a race like this, is exactly how some drivers uh, win their way into a title. Like, this is where you can get the ball rolling. As for Ravo, he, this is his 16th season. This is his 16th, this is his 17th shot to go for, for a title. And a 16th to go for the FEMC title overall. If he can, if he can win this title, it would mean quite a lot to him. It could possibly even mean the world. But he needs to get a lot more out of that hyperdrive car if he wants to do it. And that's the thing about hyperdrive racing. They kind of look like a shadow of their former selves. They used to be. Absolutely dominant. The team that hyper drivers evolved from. But now they are just a really good team. Which you might think is still really good, but considering who used to be at hyper drive, I consider it a little bit difficult. But you know, shouldn't set standards too high when you're a brand new entity. Looking at Steve Gallery defending from large but haven't really had too many incidents here in Singapore. Neil Rice, fastest first sector. Ocampo, he's going for it. He's using his attack charge. He's not going to go around the outside there. He doesn't go around the outside. He loses out by going around the outside. But he's going to have the inside for this next turn. Turn four, we believe, on the uh, track map. But he's not close enough to make a lunge. August Regazzoni, by the way, dropped off the back of the pack. And he's falling into the clutches of Tommy, even. And for a lot of these drivers, they are waiting for it to go dry. I think that's the main reason Ravo isn't thinking of attacking just yet. If he were to attack, he could lose out in the pits. That's your chance, hand. Oh, yellow's in the second sector. That. Didn't see what that was for. Oh, that's your answer. That is David Camino. Camino facing the wrong direction. He's been hit by Tommy there. And I think he's just been pinched. Yeah, he's been pinched by Sebastian Ocampo. Ah, oh, he went for the overtake, didn't he? There are some places where you make an overtake and others where you don't. You would have thought he would have known not to overtake there, but you know what they say, uh, mess around and find out. Neil has 
He's been leading since lap one, since the pole sister and Sebastian Ocampo hit the barriers. That red and yellow and black App Sports line car has been leading this E3. The Swedish, num the Swedish number six car. And that number six is somewhat stored. Oh, that's so close to the barriers. You can tell these drivers are beginning to struggle a little bit for grip. It's about to go dry, we believe. If we're looking at the radars uh, correctly, just look at how much weaving these guys are doing coming through this part of the track. I'm actually squeezing when I say the word weave. Look at Ocampo. Do you not see that? Is that not absolutely maddening? It's enough to make anyone quiver in fear. But no drivers coming in yet. Lap 8 of 15. It's Milrez from Revo, from Michael Nokival, from Vashti Chant, and from Iron at Famous. Your top five. Then it's UK Ball, Daph Sanchez, PCRO, T Gabo, and Lawless Leclerc, the top 10. Akari, reigning World Drivers' Championship outside of the top 10. He's 11. Then it's Marcus Nelson, Daniel Bogdasarov, and an Art Curie. Yuki Suos is currently 15th. Then it's Leo Iwald, Sebastian Ocampo, after colliding with Camino. He's 18th. Then it's August Recazzoni, it's Tommy, and David Camino. Out of the race is Santino Millar after a lap one incident. And there's not really too much to say. This has been one of the calmest uh E3 that we've ever had here in Singapore. Michael Nokovov. Ooh, it's always just a worry. The drivers just to come through that chicane. Oh, it's a lot out of the race. That's T Gabo. T Gabo and Lola Chiclet both out. Oh! And that's what we call a high rise. Yuki Suo, five seconds for causing a collision. Akari in the barriers. And can he get himself out of there? He's, he's reversing Akari out of the E3. Three drivers out in one incident. And it is a virtual safety car. There is still rain falling on the circuit. And as you can see, Milrez has opted to stay out. And that was all caused by Gabo crashing. Then Chaclerc ran over the debris. And then an issue there. Anit Bavnes has come into the pits to change his front wing. He's going to come out. I don't know if he's going to be in the points. Look at Bogdasarov here. Where is the Romanian number 14? He's not out of the pits yet. Anit Bavnes is not in the points. And oh, out of the race. An Orkui. An Orkui out. Oh, nicked by Leo. Yuki Suo, five second time penalty there. But, oh, just not. The day for a Hong Kong driver. He is out at turn one. You only really see turn one incident on that one. But it's lap nine right now. This race is beginning to ramp up in difficulty. It is Milrez from Revos from Novikov from Tan and UK Ball, the top five. Virtual safety car is ending. We get back racing again. Marcus Nelson, first man to come through this treacherous chicane. And oh, up into the wall. And oh, my goodness. Back flipping. That's Leo. Both pinnacles out. Sebastian Acampo rides the wall. And oh, more, more trouble. Regazzoni out of the E3. Tommy hits the barriers. It does look to be quite a bit drier there. Milrez dives in. Revo drives in. Novikov drives in, Vashti Chantan likely to drive into the pit. That's a lot of issues. Bavnes has just basically given up a race win opportunity. Milrez has pit, comes up on soft. Revo and Novikov both onto mediums. Novikov was held for a little bit of time there. VSC is ending. We go back racing. Milrez from Revo, who's going to be third? That's Novikov from Vashi Chantan. Sanchez has passed UK ball in the pits. Uh, my oh my, and yet yeah, Kamino has lost part of his front wing. Must have collided with a barrier somewhere else around the track because we did not pick up on that. Sebo Campo, we do believe we had, uh, he had to double stack there. 
Bobbiness might be able to scratch the point from this, but the big question on everyone's lips is Will Ocampo? There's a little bit of standing water out there. Not a lot. That's why we're on dry tires. But for mule res, the question is, will those soft tires hang on till the end of the race? If they will, he's going to lead. Oh, his first ever lights the flag victory. Past the second sector for Mil Rez. Because currently he's led every single lap here. And that's your Tan Tan. He's sending that past the second sector. And he's currently in third with Michael Novikov. Closing in, Novikov got passed by the Mahindra driver in the pits. Fastest this third sector for Neil Rice, they're going about a second a lap quicker than they were in the wet. We've got 15 drivers still in the C3. Neil Rice from Rebo from Tan from Nov from Novikov. And it's Sanchez, UK Ball and P Sierra. Sierra closing in on the season 10 champion. Neil Rice, fastest third sector. And he's pulled five seconds on Revo already. 85 percent tire wear compared to 88 it's not too different it is not too dissimilar Suo and iWorld are guaranteed to make it to the end unless they crash because they're on hard tires which as you may know ghosted tire wear as this generation would say now the car we're running on board with him running in the dirty air of oh, that's the countdown ahead And yeah, it's not really too much to say right now. And it bounced. And it has gotten himself up into the top ten. Yuki Suo has dropped to eleven. I World has dropped to thirteenth, and so Campo has cleared him. Neil Rez fastest lap of the E3, 121.633. Neil Rez But now, Bravo is on the chase. Fastest lap going to Dash Sanchez now. He's a medium tire runner. And he's defending from UK ball somewhat. So, wherever Sanchez is gaining time, Rayvo also needs to find that time. Because it'll help him win the race. And at Badness, resetting that fastest lap of the E3. It's a 120 from the, for the less seasoned hyperdrive driver. He may not have raced in every race, but damn, he's come close. He's missed out on seasons one and two. He came in with uh, Maserati in season three, and he was an absolute phenomenon. Nowadays, yeah, he's the Daniel Ricciardo of this championship, which is, if you ask me, one of the most backhanded compliments you could ever give a person. Neil Rez, however, he's led every single lap. 68% tire wear, so he might still have to come in. This is gonna be this is gonna be very close. On to lap 13 of 15, then two more laps here in the marina. It is Neil Rez leading the C3 from Revo and Vati Chantan. Then it is Michael Nov Novikov. Uh, Daf Sanchez, U Cable, and PC are the top seven. Uh, my, uh, Marcus Nelson, Daniel Bogdasov, and Anna Banners make up the top ten. Then it's Yuki Suo, Sebo Carpo, Iwald, Tommy, and David Camino, the championship leader, currently running at the back of the pack. That is your current running order. We are watching for the second time this season. A lights the flag victory. Michael Novikov right on the back of Vashi Chantan. He's going to try and take advantage of Tan's aging tires. Aging soft tires. The soft tires, when they have gone off the cliff, they have gone off. They do not work as well as one would expect. Oh, almost into the barracks. Does Novikov try and send it? He does send it! Down the inside for Michael Novikov! He hits the wall! Runs over his own front wing! But he's, he's back in the running. Sierra went very wide there, uh, but Novikov to P3, but was it worth it? Does he have to come in? Will he make the pit stop? I, I'm certain that he will. 
So I don't know if that overtake was worth it in, at the end of the day. But you know what they say. Every opportunity that you don't take is a missed opportunity. One for the penultimate lap. As you can see, Novikov has had to come into the pits. He's going to go on to soft tyres. So I'm pretty sure the next TV guys are going to try and go for fastest lap. A noble effort. But probably a wasted one if... Fabnis comes across the line in first here. Where is Tommy? He's not out of the pits. He's come out now and he's behind. No, he's ahead of Sebastian Ocampo. He will. He, if he goes to the fastest lap, he'll take the point because of Suo's five second time penalty. He's probably complaining right now. The five seconds is a yoke into the wall. Neil Rice hits the barriers. Weber comes through the chicane. And now. He might be in the hot seat. He can win this race. Ravo can win the Marina Bay debris. And oh, running over debris out of the race. Bachi Chan Tan. Bachi Chan Tan of the Philippines. Number 22 out of the E3 on the penultimate lap. And the question on my mind is will Mil Res pit? If Mil Res pits, he's going to give up the race lead. He's going to stay in the top 10. But he's going to give up the opportunity for a perfect white flag victory with only one mistake. He's staying out. He's going to start the last lap with a damaged front wing. With a car that is compromised when it comes to cornering performance. And, and he's going to have to defend from Ravo, the most experienced driver in the championship. And he is closing him down like a hawk. He does not have attack mode. He can only use attack charge, can Ravo. But at the same time, Neil Rest can use attack charge as well. Attack mode it is probably what Ravo is begging for. Either that or for Neil Rest to up and, and crash out of the C3. He's out. Novikov, five second time bonus either colliding with his own teammate. Daph Sanchez lost his first sector. Emil Rice is out of attack mode. Attack charge, sorry. But so is Rubbo. So coming through the chicane, the same chicane where he lost his front wing. Out of the race. And it's gone Emil Rice. But Rubbo slamming the wall as well. He takes the lead of the C3 at the very last moment. With only one more sector to go. The App Sports Lena driver has fumbled one too much. Peace, Yara. Also out of the E3. He lost his front wing too. My goodness me, this end of the race has seen two drivers retire. But one man who still decided not to retire after all of this time. It's the lucky number seven here in the Marina Bay. He's going to come through these two chicanes under virtual safety car. We're going to have 12 finishes to the C3. Only two men who won't score points. But the man who will score the big dogs, 25 points. Goes to the number seven. Revo wins the Marina Bay E3. Daph Sanchez is going to come across the line. Round of applause for him. Fastest, sec uh, fastest second sector went to him. David Camino hits the wall. You cable comes home with a P3. Marcus Nelson, give it up for him. P4 at the, at the line. Bogdasov P5. Suo P6. Novak Nokivov. 7th, Fabnus 8th, Tommy 9th for the fastest third sector, Ocampo is 10th, Iwold 11th and then it's David Kamala who will round up the field in 12th Duo and Nokivov both had 5 second time penalty but let's just watch these last two turns you can see he's having to overcorrect on the steering wheel, that's what happens when you don't have enough downforce And this is the podium. Bravo wins the Marina Bay Three from Dash Sanchez and U Cable. Their top three. Brilliant performance from all three of them. Then it's Marcus Nelson, Daniel Volkasarov, Ina Famnus, Tommy, Yuki Suo, the top eight. Then it's Michael Novikov and Seba Kampa, your point scorers. Iwad and David Cameron did not score any points today, but they did finish. Your non scores were Neil Rex, PCR, Beth Chan Chan, Leo, Augusto Dogoni, and Akiri, Akari, Marcus the Club, T. Gallo, and Santino Milan. In the driver's standings, Ravo leads the way from David Cameron and Augusto Dogoni, and it's Sebastiano Campo, Tiger, Santino Milan. Then it's Neil Rex, Daniel Bogdasar, and Yuki Suo, top eight.
The table is nice, that is Julio. It's not the Duncan. Tommy, Pichero. We got Sanchez. No, it's because Michael knocked it off. And at Famous, uh, Akari is 18. Your reigning driver's champion is 18. The Gabo is 19. And your mom's score is still. And that's Japan. And up here is an high world. Lots of standings going into the next round. Toyota Gazoo Racing and Vaughn Honda GP tied on 91 points. Then it's actually fourth spin on 75. This on this on 70. And look who's trying to make some inroads. It's Hyperdrive Racing on 68 points. And that's Amelin and Freddy, two points back on 66 points. Then it's Virgin Renner on 50. Aurelio Pinnacle on 43 points. XEV on 41. Mercedes. FE team on 17 and the Hoosier still yet to score. We'll see you guys next time then when the FDMC returns.